Hi friends, welcome to Backyard Homestead. Today we're gonna make a few things, so I'll probably split it into three videos. So this first one is gonna be an artichoke spinach dip that we are going to dip these non-dippers in, or you can use crackers or baguette bread is what we usually use, but um, I got these and so I thought we would try them. We're also gonna make a Mediterranean chicken, um, some rice pilaf, and a veggie, just zucchinis and stuff for a side veggie. And we're gonna grill the um, Mediterranean chicken, but first we'll get it marinating. Um, and I'm waiting for my husband to get back from the store because the two lemons I had in the fridge were hard as a rock. So it calls for two lemons, the juice and the, um, the juice and the zest. So what I have here are some canned quartered artichoke hearts. I don't have the marinated ones in the jar, which is usually what I use, but I ran out. Oops. Sorry, trying to get you guys straightened out. Okay, I heated up the cream cheese just a tiny bit in the uh, microwave just so it will be soft. I'm gonna cut these artichokes a little smaller. Got a bag of frozen chopped spinach. Okay, so we soften up the cream cheese a little. And I just did that so it would be easier to mix, to mix everything. I probably should strain this because it's going to have a lot of liquid. You know what I will do? I'm just going to put it in here. I'm going to microwave it. And once it is all heated through, then we'll just squeeze the juice out. Okay. So we've got our cream cheese. Let's add some pepper. And this dip is so easy to throw together and everybody loves it. We're gonna need some Italian cheese, some Parmesan, oh, that's the shaped one. I grabbed the wrong one. It doesn't matter really, but I like the smaller Parmesan. We're gonna need some mayonnaise. So it's a nice rainy day today, and I was just doing a lot of housework and cleaning, and I'm like, I gotta get cooking. Gotta get my chicken marinating, get this dip in the oven. So, let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of minced garlic. Get a spoon again. Just to give it some good garlicky flavor. We're also going to add some to our chicken, the Mediterranean chicken. And I'm, my husband's getting more of this Italian cheese. I have lots of cheddar, but not lots of Italian. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that in. Give it a mix. I'm gonna go grab the other Parmesan. I wanna cut the artichokes a little smaller because I don't really like big chunks. Oh, here's the other Parmesan. <laughs> but I need to get the sour cream still too. <laughs> Let's see if this thawed out. I don't really wanna put a bunch of liquid in my dip, so. All right, let me go grab the sour cream. Oops, sorry buddy, we'll be right back. So we got a new puppy. I'll show you guys her in a minute. Her name's Tiffy, and she's a little Shih Tzu. And the Yorkshire Terrier is super jealous right at the moment. 
I don't really measure. <laughs> if you want to measure, you can about half a cup of each. I just throw it in there. I've made this dip so many times, so. Okay, let's save that. Oh, and we're also going to need some breadcrumb. Hope there's no bugs in it. No, they look good. <laughs> Breadcrumbs are the, you know what, I should put them in a uh, mason jar. Okay. I also want a little onion powder. Give them a little onion flavor. And we're going to need that anyways for our chicken. So I'm trying to use up this one because I got a new onion that's more granulated. Okay. All right, that's better. Ooh. Okay, now let's mush out all this liquid. I do have a little strainer. We'll try it that way. And it is hot. Okay, I'm gonna let it just sit there now that I pushed all the, I pushed all the liquid out, but it might have a little bit. Set that over there. Hopefully you can see very good. Let's tip you down a little. All we're gonna do, see how they're kind of big chunks? I want them to be a bit smaller than that. I also need to turn on the other. Let's do that. Let's get a knife. And I just cut them into smaller little chunks. These artichokes are weird. The little leaves are like hard to cut. Always on artichokes. We just basically want it so the chunks aren't giant chunks. Okay. Don't want to cut my fingers on the new knives. And they are very sharp. Okay, we're adding these to the bowl with the mayonnaise, cream cheese, the Italian cheese. Let me rinse this off. <laughs> Here's the new baby. This is Tiffy. It's okay, baby. She's only eight weeks old and teeny tiny. Oh, hi, I'm Tiffy. So it's Tiffany, but we call her Tiffy for short. Like I said, she's only eight weeks. We just got her yesterday and she's so cute. I trimmed her little paws and her nails. Huh, baby? Anyways, just wanted to show her to you guys. Number five, and we haven't had a baby for 16 years. Okay, let me wash my hands since I was touching the baby. She's super adorable. So far, such a good puppy. She loves her little pen and her little privacy. Let's have this back. Got our spinach done being drained. So we'll go ahead and add it. This is really how simple it is to make a spinach artichoke dip. <laughs> New Yorkie's always at my feet waiting for something to drop. more cheese, of course. I'm waiting for my husband to get back from the store. But we'll add half this Parmesan. We're going to put more on top. And this is just grated Parmesan. I'm going to add a good handful. It's a little bit frozen. I 
You know what else I'm gonna add is a little more pepper. And a little garlic powder. So you know we love the garlic, but I only put minced in here. Ciao babes. So let's actually, instead, I'll add some of my favorite, the Kingsford garlic and herb seasoning. Cause this stuff, oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm gonna be adding that to my chicken also, which we are gonna marinate in just a few after this. Okay, let's stir this cheese in. So we have half a bag of Italian cheese and they, these are eight ounce bags, but actually that's a six ounce, but the other cheeses are eight ounce. So approximately eight ounces of cheese plus some Parmesan. Oh my gosh, it already looks great, doesn't it? Creamy. Okay, as soon as my husband gets back, which he said he's on his way, we'll put it in here, add a little Parmesan on top, and Italian breadcrumbs. And yes, you can make your own breadcrumbs. And we'll put it in the oven. Um, I have it at 350. I think I'll turn it to 375. And we'll cook, we'll bake it for about 30 minutes and see how it looks. And I'm using this bar pan. I used to use a square um, pan for chef pan, but it got broken. Not by me. <laughs> Anyways, we will be right back to get it all into the pan. All right, we've got all our cheese in. Let's go ahead and get her in the bowl. This is quite a bit because I added two cream cheeses. Because I usually make it in a small square pan and this is more of a rectangle. So I thought, you know, we'll just make a bigger batch. So I added two cream cheese. Oh, it smells good. Like garlic and cheese. And you can smell the sour cream and the mayonnaise. All of it is so yummy. Okay, we just want to Get it spread out evenly. Get all that goodness. Okay. Let's put that there. More Parmesan. Let's move this out of the way. By the way, I've got our chicken just sitting in this bowl here. I've got six chicken thighs. They're a tiny bit frozen still, but we're gonna make some Mediterranean chicken, almost like a Greek kind of chicken. That's why I've got the Greek yogurt out here with some yummy flavors. They make really good kebabs, but we're just gonna throw them on the grill, make some homemade rice pilaf with them, and grill up some zucchini, onion, bell pepper, and have us, uh, we'll have that with um, pita and hummus, and it's so good. Okay, let's get that like that. Actually, maybe a little more Parmesan. We want it to have a good crust. Okay, now our Italian breadcrumbs. Just a good even sprinkling. And we wanna bake it till it's golden brown on top. So I've got my oven at 375. And let's just switch spaces here. And put it in. Now the chicken we're gonna grill, so we don't need the oven for anything else today. All right, we'll be back when that's done and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll give it a taste test because it's super yummy. Now, like I said, it's not really a recipe, but um, I could write it down. 
you know exactly what I use basically. All right, our dip is ready to get out of the oven. Let's see how it looks. And it'll be way too hot to give it a taste test, but we could put a little bit in a bowl. Let it cool down. Watch out, dogs. Took the time to feed the dogs and everything. So they're kind of in here chowing down right at the moment. But let's show you guys up close. Just gonna move her on in. Look at that. <laughs> Spinach artichoke dip. We're gonna use this nan non um, dippers because I don't have a baguette bread today. Oh, it's so good. The crispy top. Eh, hold on. Don't want to burn myself. The crispy top makes the best. Okay, we'll set it there. And then I'm going to set it aside because we're going to need this burner for our veggies, our rice pilaf, and our vegetables. Okay, let me give you guys a close up. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. Let's get these out of here. Let me open this non bread. No, I gotta watch the Yorkshire like a hawk because this little girl will eat everything. <laughs> she just. Let me see. Let me try to move you. I have all this stuff on the counter for my rice. And it's all in the way. Okay. I'm going to get you guys in there. Okay. Let me get a fork or something. No, I see what you're doing, Daisy. Of course, one left a little bit of food, so she's like, oh, I'm eating that. But no, she's not. Oh, it's still super hot. Look at it. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on here. I'll let it cool for a second because it looks real hot. No daisy. Here it is on the non little dippers. I usually buy a, a small baguette and butter it and then toast it and um, but uh, I thought we'd try these because we're going to have our Mediterranean chicken and some rice pilaf and pita with hummus. So I thought we would try these with some of the hummus also. So why not try it with this dip? Okay. There's our spinach artichoke dip. Mmm. Oh man, that is so good. Delicious, you guys. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Now on to the rice pilaf and some veggies with Mediterranean seasoning. <laughs>